favorite teen show, Beyond the Bubble. To always keep your head on the curve, hi, I am Mehul Jagoda. And I am Suhani Pandey. And we welcome you to the 6th episode of the Beyond the Bubble Extravaganza. Let's start this fun filled show with the thought of the month. The biggest adventure which you can take is to live a life of your dreams. What do you think about that Suhani? I couldn't agree more. It takes great courage to dream of a life and even greater to build it. So to experience the thrill of being at the top of the ferris wheel, you have got to master courage to start the ride first. Now let's head straight into our first segment, the Teens Weekly and peek into some exciting news you need to know. First up, the International Monetary Fund IMF has projected a growth rate of 6.1% for India in 2023, marking a 0.2 percentage uptick from previous April projections. Whoa, looks like India is the one bright spot in these signs of economic winter. But Suhani, do you know what the irony in this situation is? What is? Despite being one of the five largest economies of the world, India continues to be one of the unhappiest nations according to the World Happiness Index. I believe she still has a long way to go in achieving equality in social, economic safety and stability, especially for women and girls across the nation. Moving on, NASA is bracing up to send Homo sapiens for another interstellar journey. After Apollo 11, NASA will be launching Artemis II lunar mission in 2024, sending four astronauts on a journey around the moon. The universe always excites me. Oh, talking of the moon, did you watch the launch of Chandrayaan 3? Yes, what a moment of pride it was for every Indian. Right. A quick side note, this spacecraft is expected to make a soft landing on the moon on the August 23rd or the August 24th. I would say the sky is the limit for our passionate and meticulous sphere. Proceeding on to my personal favourite segment now, let's dive into pop rage and sink into some exciting news from the pop culture. Fans across India and the globe have exploded in theatres over the release of two blockbuster films, no prizes for guessing which one. Barbie and Oppenheimer. In fact, Barbenheimer made the highest grossing debut of 2023 and became the top contributors at the fourth largest weekend at the box office in the US of all time. So, if you haven't watched them yet, what are you waiting for? American actor and musician Johnny Depp painted his emotions into a self-portrait titled Five depicting his dark and confusing times that the Hollywood actor had to go through during the court cases relating to his ex-marriage. Priced at a whopping $1950, the self-portrait is on sale as a time-limited edition. Oh, I'm eager to see his dark times to Depp's eyes. Heading next into what's happening around you to the In Town Insider. The venue for India's G20 summit, Pragiti Madan, has been revamped to a state of art complex with top notch facilities and a spectacular colossal place worth viewing. Watch out for world leaders such as Joe Biden, Emmanuel Macron, and Anthony Albanese, and dozen more on 9th and 10th September in Delhi at G20 summit. Yeah. A moment of pride for all Indians, I must say. Suhani, what do you think about classical Indian music concerts? Whoa, what a great question, Mabel. Music has always been my greatest therapy. And Indian music, such a vibe. Well, the golden voice of Bollywood, Javed Ali, is now coming to New Delhi at Shiriport Auditorium on 27th August for his concert, Jaspa, wherein he's going to be performing live. Oh my god, I'm booking my tickets now. Let's now catch up with Neeti and get the insights to the latest updates at MRIS. All the viewers of Beyond the Bubble, I am Neeti Gupta in conversation with Ms. Monica Kathuria, Vice Principal of Early Years and Primary Bank at MRIS Koji. Greetings now. Thank you for joining us today on this episode of Beyond the Bubble. Pleasure, it's always nice to interact with you. Well, ma'am, the most beautiful memories of our lives are created in our childhood. And undoubtedly, uh, the foundation of it all is laid in a very special building called the school. Lately, we have been hearing a lot about the Nino Fest 4.0 that our school is organizing. Can you tell us all about it? So yes, it is so exciting to talk about Nino Fest because it is all about unleashing your imagination. So it's a 
a event which is curated for the little ones of the age group of 3 to 6 around our vicinity for them to come and be a part of this amazing event where we'll be focusing on the 21st century learning skills and building on those skills based on science, uh, technology and on their experiential learning so it talks all about theatre, art, storytelling, science shala, art attack, act attack so there's so much to go so very very excited Thank you now for your time it is always great to listen to you and interact with you now for all of our audience friends, parents, relatives and family for young ones looking for admissions for their little ones mark your calendars for the 5th of August and don't forget to attend the Nino event only at MRIS for Team Faridaba. Until next time, it's me, Neeti Gupta, your on-ground reporter, signing off. This time on a segment, Memento. Babelheimer has become a meme fest, a vibe, a fan favorite phenomena taking social media by a storm. Take a look. Ah, oh, look at that. Next level movie advertising. <gasps> Whoa! And that's a wrap to the 6th episode of Beyond the Bubble. Hope you all enjoyed the show. Do like, share and comment if you did and stay tuned for more enthralling content coming your way from Media Shala. Until, Until next time, time goodbye. goodbye.